In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus NH42S. This is copper 2 chloride. This is ammonium sulfide. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. I can see there are two chlorine atoms here, just one here. Let's put a 2 in front of the ammonium chloride. That gives us two ammonium ions, but we have two ammonium ions here. Those are balanced. And we have copper and sulfur. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Chloride's very soluble if you know your solubility rules. AQ for aqueous, that'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. The ammonium compounds also very soluble, AQ. Sulfides in general are insoluble. This copper two sulfide, it's insoluble. So these two react, they produce copper two sulfide as a solid. That doesn't dissolve, it's insoluble, falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have this precipitation taking place. Ammonium compounds, again, very soluble, AQ. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. We don't know the charge on copper, it's a transition metal, but chlorine, that forms ions with a charge of one minus. So since we have two of them, this has to be two plus. So we have Cu2 plus, I'll write the states later, plus two of those chloride ions, Cl minus, and then the ammonium ion, the whole thing is one plus. Good one to remember. We have two ammonium ions, so we'll have two NH4 plus, and then the sulfide ion is two minus. So we'll have that sulfide ion, S2 minus, and those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have this solid here. We don't split those apart in net ionic equations. We'll keep that together. We have the plus and the minus. So two ammonium ions, just like in the reactants. And then we have two chloride ions, also like the reactants. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross these spectator ions out that are on both sides. So in the reactants here, I can see I have two chloride ions. In the products, I also have two chloride ions, so I can cross those out. They're spectator ions, reactants, two ammonium ions, also in the products, spectator ions, which we'll cross out. And that gives us the net ionic equation for copper two chloride plus ammonium sulfide. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for copper two chloride plus ammonium sulfide. You'll note charge is conserved. We have a two plus and a two minus. That adds up to zero, net charge of zero. Over here, this is a neutral compound, net charge of zero. If you count the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.